maybe we could have been a little bit more prepared. Um, but I feel like a lot of it was just we didn't execute. You know, we had a, a pretty good game plan. They changed a few things that we weren't planning on, but for the most part, we just execute what we needed to, and we didn't make the plays, and they did. Obviously, they had four turnovers, and we didn't have any. I thought we were ready for the game, but when we came out, I don't know if people got nervous because of the big game, but we made a lot of mistakes and on offense, and uh, we didn't do the right reads sometimes, and people tried to make up for it and tried too hard, and you know, it just didn't put us in the right position, and the timing was off on everything, so it's just one of those games that you learn from and forget about, and you hope we get a plan again in the playoffs. <laughs> I guess I can't speak for everybody, but uh, I think I like to buy right now. It helps me recuperate and kind of get into focus about the season and what we have to do to make the playoffs so we can continue. This is my last year, so I hope that everybody on the team is going to uh, take this break and think about what they can improve on. And when we start practice again on Thursday, that they'll do that and we'll come out these next two games and win convincingly. And, uh, give us a better chance to make the playoffs. I think we'll have a few days to rest and then we have um, a few extra days to prepare for Northern Arizona, which they're a really good team. And so hopefully it's coming at a good time when we can use those extra days to, you know, break down more film, have a few more different ideas offensively and defensively um, to be ready to beat Northern Arizona and hopefully we can use the bye week to our advantage rather than like you said, you know, maybe we could just be frustrated with the loss and just kind of not focus in, but um, I think it should hopefully be a good thing. Well, obviously we got to stop the run. Uh, we got ran all over, uh, 241 yards, at the, I think is what uh, the running back had. So we got to stop the run and uh, be ready also for the pass because Northern Arizona, uh, I think either has number one or number two offensive uh, top offense in the conference. So I think if we can stop the run, make them one dimensional, and then we're still going to have to be really good on the pass because I know they've got a good quarterback and receivers. But I think if we do that, it will hopefully be a better outcome than what we saw last Saturday. Um, probably just execution. You know, talk about it a lot. Um, it doesn't matter what play is called. There's, I mean, it couldn't be. It might not be the best situation, but the play could still work if we execute and do what we're supposed to. And so we just got to know what to do, be mentally there. Yeah, I think the team, we understand that we can still make it. Usually they take two teams from the big sky because there's a lot of talent here and a lot of good teams. And If we come out and win these next two games, we'll be sitting in the number two spot and we'll have a good chance to play uh, another West Coast team. Yeah, it's uh, definitely frustrating. You know, any athlete wants to win every game, but especially your senior year. And uh, I would have never thought that we'd be in the situation that we are. Um, but it is what it is. And I think as a competitor, whether we can go to the playoffs or not, that you know we need to finish strong and to win. And hopefully, the pride in us and the com competitors will not care. You know what it is and we'll still win the last two games but you know there's there is a chance that we can go to the playoffs and so we need to take care of our part and worry about the rest later but I think if we just take these next two games just worry about them the rest will fall into place and if it doesn't you know turn in our favor then you know we made the season decent instead of bad we lose these last two games it will be bad so we win them it'll be a decent season so I think a lot of people are disappointed in the game. Uh, I know I've been, well, I guess Sunday, I was just kind of thinking about it, looking back and just uh, just disappointed, just upset about how it went down and how bad we lost and how we didn't play like a team. And it's been a while since that's happened. And, uh, but I don't know. I think Monday we got yelled at for a while. But I think people just... I think they're going to put it behind them and then work for these next two games. See some, you know, people frustrated and probably talking bad about others or coaches or different things. And then I think you'd see also those that, that step in and say, hey, look, 
you know, that wasn't it. We lose as a team, we win as a team, and um, everyone had their part, and we're not going to lose and uh, any more games, and we're going to make it to playoffs. And so you kind of see both. You, you know, you see the two way, the two attitudes you can have, and it's our our um, challenge, or I guess our responsibility would be a better word as captains and seniors to make sure that the attitude of we're going to finish out strong and we're going to win and hopefully go to the playoffs, it's our, our uh, responsibility to make that happen.